One of the things I am always trying on this channel, is to present the best, most interesting projects, that I like the most. And all I have to do, is find them. It sounds easy, right? But it is not. It is hard to find the right project, among so many others. Just like this BMW. It was built two years ago. And somehow, I failed on this one. It is the kind of machine, that should be easy to be found. And this means, I am two years late. Like most people usually say, better late, than never. But considering this kind of motorcycle is timeless, maybe I am not so late as I thought. Welcome to Racer TV. It has been a while since I presented a BMW with a boxer engine. In fact, more than a year to be more precise. But I just could not ignore this R80. It looks really good. This is the work of Vincent Hamar, Thomas and Anthony Latournier, and Denis Pereira, from Le French Atelier, obviously located in France. I know what you are going to say. This is not exactly a cafe racer project. And you are right. It is not a pure one, but I think, if I may say so, that it is close enough to be considered from the same family. The initial idea, was to create a motorcycle near to drag strip racer proportions and stance. And that is why it looks so close to the ground, not to mention fast. So, what made me select this project for this episode? Besides the fact of the motorcycle looking so beautiful, I have to recognize that the guys of Le French Atelier, had some courage. They made some risky decisions, that should not work with this kind of BMW. If we check internet, something around 90% of all projects based on the R80, still use the standard fuel tank. And why does this happen? Simple because it is a very beautiful one. Definitely the most beautiful of all BMW R series. But, considering this project had to be more suitable for drag racing, the fuel tank had to be different. And so, they chose the tank from a Yamaha DTE125 from the 70s. I know there are some other BMW projects, also using small fuel tanks. But none of them look as elegant and minimalist as this one. Notice how the lines from this tank, flow in this frame structure. It looks like it was made purposely for this structure. The retro flavor of this handlebar, which seems it came out from a racing motorcycle of the 1920s. I recognize that some modern details like the alloy wheels, tires, or disc brake, shouldn't fit very well on this project. But, for some reason, I like it. And even after they installed these covers on the wheels, and changed the front headlight, I still love this machine. Maybe because of the contrast between the retro classic, and modern. It is the kind of mixture, that we do not expect. 
and that is probably why it made things so interesting. Sophisticated is probably the right word. Who else but the French to turn something classic into something sophisticated? And in this respect, the guys from Le French Atelier did a fantastic work. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.